L'Osservatore Romano, pronounced L'Osservatore Romano, Italian for the Roman Observer, is the daily newspaper of Vatican City State which reports on the activities of the Holy See and events taking place in the Church and the world. It is owned by the Holy See but is not an official publication, a role reserved for Acta Apostolicae Sedis. The views expressed in the Osservatore are those of individual authors unless they appear under the specific titles, Nostre Informazioni, or Santa Seed. Available in nine languages, the paper prints two Latin mottos under the masthead of each edition, Unicique Sum, to each his own, and non prevalent the gates of hell shall not prevail. The current editor-in-chief is Giovanni Maria Vian. On 27 June 2015, Pope Francis, in an apostolic letter, established the Secretariat for Communications, a new part of the Roman Curia, and included L'Osservatore Romano under its management. Editions L'Osservatore Romano is published in nine different languages listed by date of first publication Daily and Weekly in Italian 1861-1950 Weekly in French 1949 Weekly in English 1968 Weekly in Spanish 1969 Weekly in Portuguese 1970 Weekly in German 1971 Monthly in Polish 1980 Weekly in Malayalam 2007 The daily Italian edition of L'Osservatore Romano is published in the afternoon, but with a cover date of the following day, a convention that sometimes results in confusion. The weekly English edition is distributed in more than 129 countries, including both English-speaking countries and locales where English is used as the general means of communication. Topic History Topic Nineteenth Century Giornale di Roma was the newspaper of the Papal States, with first issue published in Rome on the sixth of july eighteen forty nine. It continued until 19 September 1870 and is considered the predecessor of L'Osservatore Romano. The first issue of L'Osservatore Romano was published in Rome on 1 July 1861, a few months after the Kingdom of Italy was proclaimed on 17 March 1861. The original intent of the newspaper was unabashedly polemical and propagandistic in defense of the Papal States, adopting the name of a private pamphlet financed by a French Catholic legitimist group. The 18th of September 1860 defeat of Papal troops at Castelfidardo substantially reduced the temporal power of the Pope, prompting Catholic intellectuals to present themselves in Rome for the service of Pope Pius IX. This agenda supported the notion of a daily publication to champion the opinions of the Holy See. By July 1860, the Deputy Minister of the Interior, Marcantonio Pacelli, grandfather of the future Pope Pius XII, had plans to supplement the official bulletin of the Catholic Church Giornale di Roma with a semi official, rhetorical publication. In early 1861, controversialist Nicola Zancini and journalist Giuseppe Bastia were granted editorial direction of Pacelli's newspaper. Official permission to publish was sought on the 22nd of June 1861, and four days later, on the 26th of June, Pius IX gave his approval for the regulation of L'Osservatore. The first edition was entitled L'Osservatore Romano, a political and moral paper, and cost five baiocchi. The political and moral paper epithet was dropped before 1862, adding instead the two Latin mottos that still appear under the masthead today. The editors of the paper initially met in the Salviucci Press on the Piazza de Santi Apostoli, where the paper was printed. Only when the editorial staff was established on the Palazzo Petri in Piazza dei Crossiferi and the first issue printed there on 31 March, was the wording daily newspaper added to the masthead 
After the breach of Porta Pia by Italian troops in September 1870, L'Osservatore Romano solidified its opposition to the Kingdom of Italy, affirming obedience to the Pope and adherence to his directives, stating it would remain faithful to that unchangeable principle of religion and morals which recognizes as its sole depository and claimant the Vicar of Jesus Christ on earth. Soon after, L'Osservatore began to replace the Giornale di Roma as the news organ of the Pontifical State. Giornale di Roma stopped publication on 19 September 1870 almost a decade after launch of L'Osservatore Romano. During the pontificate of Pope Leo XIII, the Vatican acquired the paper's ownership in 1885. 20th century The Osservatore continued to be published as a newspaper in Vatican City, but in 1904 Acta Sancte Sedis which had existed since 1865, was declared the formal organ of the Holy See in that all documents printed in it were considered authentic and official. Acta Sancte Sedis ceased publication four years later and on 29 September 1908 Acta Apostolicae Sedis became the official publication of the Holy See. The English weekly edition was first published on 4 April 1968. On 7 January 1998, that edition became the first to be printed outside of Rome, when for North American subscribers, it began to be printed in Baltimore. The edition was printed by the Cathedral Foundation, publishers of the Catholic Review. Topic: 21st century. As of the 1st of July 2011, the English language edition of the L'Osservatore Romano for North American subscribers is once again published in Rome. It had been published by the Cathedral Foundation of Baltimore since 1998. In the 21st century, the paper has taken a more objective and subdued stance than at the time of its foundation, printing itself in presenting the genuine face of the Church and the ideals of freedom. Following the statement by Cardinal Tarsicio Bertoni in an October 2006 speech inaugurating a new exhibit dedicated to the founding and history of the newspaper. He further described the publication as an instrument for spreading the teachings of the successor of Peter and for information about church events. <laughs> Topic. Official views of the magisterium It is a common error to assume that the contents of the L'Osservatore Romano represent the views of the Magisterium, or the official position of the Holy See. In general, this is not the case, and the only parts of the Osservatore which represent the views of the Holy See are those that appear under the titles, Nostre Informazioni, or Santa Seed. At times the Magisterium disputes the contents of the Osservatore, e.g. a 2008 article expressed the desire that the debate on brain death be reopened because of new developments in the medical world. An official spokesman said that the article presented a personal opinion of the author and did not reflect a change in the Catholic Church's position. Topic. Leadership. Editors in chief Nicola Zancini and Giuseppe Bastia, 1861-1866, Augusto Baviera, 1866-1884, Cesare Crispolti, 1884-1890, Giovanni Battista Cassoni, 1890-1900, Giuseppe Angelini, 1900-1919. Giuseppe Dalla Torre di Sanguinetto, 1920 to 1960. Raimondo Manzini, 1960 to 1978. Valerio Volpini, 1978 to 1984. Mario Agnes, 1984 to 2007. Giovanni Maria Vian, 2007 to 2018. Andrea Manda, 2018 present. Topic. 
See also Index of Vatican City-related articles <laughs>